What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today I'm going to be showing you guys iOS 15 on the iPhone 12 mini. Now just as a heads up, this is the iOS 15 developer beta on my iPhone 12 mini. This is not the public beta that is going to be coming out hopefully in July for the public and a stable release in September, the usual Apple. But I have the developer beta right here and I want to show you kind of what it feels and looks like on the iPhone 12 mini. You may have an iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 Pro Max, who knows? You may even have an iPhone 6 and it's gonna work with an iPhone 6, a six year old device. But here, the 12 mini, let's see how iOS 15 uh, looks like and what are the main visual changes and what we get on this bad boy. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to be getting with the iOS 15 update is going to be the notification center where we're getting kind of stacked and a overall cleaner look with the notifications. Um, and with this, it's pretty much prioritizing which one is the most important. Um, obviously, I just got a, a order confirmed for a Pokemon um, booster box, uh, the EV Lucian's booster box, uh, the Japanese, if you guys don't follow Pokemon, um, it's, it's great. Anyway, um, it prioritizes which one is kind of the most important for me and which one is not. Um, obviously, that one is the most as I um, do need that um, confirmation. But overall, it's got a much, much cleaner look to it. Definitely is one to enjoy. I mean, for the longest time, Apple hasn't been the greatest with notifications, but they're getting much, much better with every single OS update. And iOS 15 is definitely no exception. So there is that. Next one is when you first get the beta and you swipe to the right, well, at least for me, I, I got this, the magnifier app. That, the magnifier app, which was technically, it was actually in um, your control center and now it's a dedicated app. But um, I guess it works great. I mean, it's, it's all right, but I won't be using it anytime soon. And we also, I also did get this feedback, which feedback assistant, which I definitely won't be using. Uh, but that is definitely now it, it's right here. It's an app. It is not a part of the control center anymore, which does bring me to the control center. And we're getting what we call focus. Stay focused on what's important. So now literally it's, it's right there. I'm going to definitely be playing around with this much more, but I can uh, create a new focus. Um, I don't know. Let's do driving. Your phone can detect when you may be driving and automatically silence your incoming alerts and calls. And that's that's great. It, it's, it's great because, I mean, we do really need this. Like, we have to focus. We have to focus. Um, but it's great how um, it's got time-sensitive notifications. You can share your focus status. Um, so when it says when this is on, it'll tell apps you have notification status and it will allow the people to notify you anyway if something is important. So that is, that's great. That is great. Um, this is definitely going to be a feature that a lot of people will be using and I definitely will be one of them. So next up is something that we actually use quite often and that is the weather app. It's, it's all new, it's redesigned and it's great. That's it. That's it for weathers. But um, pretty much you're getting a whole new redesign with better graphics. You can obviously see the stars. Sometimes you'll see a shooting star as the weather is great. When you see it, it's raining, it actually shows the physical, like it's raining, it shows that graphic too. And the reason why is because obviously Apple did acquire Dark Sky. So they're using it. They're using what they acquired from Dark Sky in the weather app, which is great. It's absolutely great. I love it. Um, it's much cleaner, uh, much more intuitive, um, and I love it. That's it. That's it for weather. Uh, the weather app on iOS 15. Um, 
I hope you guys use it too, as I will, because it's starting to get hot. Um, 61 obviously doesn't seem too hot uh, for some uh, who live down uh, down south, but it's it's pretty. Um, I just I just don't like heat. Anyway, let's move on. Next up is going to be camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a picture of this and when I click on Canon it is going to let me copy select all look up translate share let's look it up and it gives me the App Store series suggested websites that's great you can search the web and obviously we've had this with like Google Lens uh, but it's just great to see that iOS 15 has now incorporated that and is now using that, which is which is definitely going to be a huge plus. I wish we had it last year for my math homework, but anyway, that's for a different story. Okay, so next up is going to be maps. Maps. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to somewhere in, let's do Boston. Let's see, where in Boston can we do? The reason why is because this also did get a much design overhaul. Um, It is much more cleaner, 2D. There's a 2D, some places do have 3D. Um, but it's just so much more cleaner when you look at it. I definitely do like this. Um, so for those of you who do use Apple Maps as your dedicated maps, uh, you're going to be excited for this. Like, it's, it's really nice. Um, so here is Rochester, for those of you. Let's see, there is a Costco here. And obviously it's still in beta, so it's not going to be showing like, for example, it's it's a 3D cutout um, and that will be coming with uh, more stable releases, um, but you're getting a design overhaul with the Apple Maps in iOS 15. And that pretty much wraps up this video. There are definitely much more updates to iMessage and to FaceTime on iOS 15 with the iPhone 12 mini and other iPhone devices as well. Um, but the newer devices you have, the more features you're going to be getting. Um, the same thing goes for like Mac, the new Mac OS update as well as iPad OS. The newer the devices are, so for example, for Macs, if you have the M1 uh, chip inside your Mac, your iMac, MacBook, whatever, you're going to be getting more of the features. Whereas if you have Intel, you're not going to be getting as much. Same thing goes for the new iPhones. The newer the iPhone, the more features you're going to be getting. Uh, so just do keep that in mind. If something doesn't come to your iPhone, like a 6S, uh, don't be surprised. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy these, this type of video, uh, especially with iOS 15 hands-on on the iPhone 12 mini. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video as it does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more viewers like you. That's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.